So in the last video, we talked about the Friedel Crafts alkylation, and we talked about how there was many problems with that process, um, especially with certain types of alkyl chlorides that you, that you need to use. In this video, we're going to talk about a related reaction, the Friedel Crafts acylation. Um, now, there's a lot of similarities, um, but this is sort of the more well-behaved cousin of the Friedel Crafts alkylation. In this case, what we're doing is reacting an aromatic with uh, what's called an acid chloride. Right? So this is a, a carbonyl, a carbon-oxygen double bond um, with a chloride substituent. This is a very reactive species. Um, we still do need to uh, activate it with a catalyst. And again, we're going to use aluminum trichloride. And what that will do is install this group, an acyl group, acyl group onto the aromatic ring. Okay, and so this actually turns out to be, in general, a very good process. So let's talk about how this happens. Okay, once again, we first need to generate uh, an electrophile that is reactive enough. So in this case, we will start off with our acid chloride, and I will put in the lone pairs on the chloride. Okay, so here is our Lewis acid again, our aluminum trichloride and that is going to bind to the chloride. Okay, so we could draw this intermediate. All right, so this is very much akin to what we saw in the Friedel Crafts alkylation. So I'll put in my formal charges. And once again, we're going to ionize. We're going to lose that AlCl4 anion as a very good leaving group. And what we're going to do in this case that that group leaving will be assisted by uh, the lone pairs from the oxygen, which can help stabilize um, the resulting carbocation. So when that happens, we will get this type of intermediate. Okay, um, and now uh, this is called an acylium ion. Right, so it's the the cationic version of the acyl, it's the acylium. And uh, there are two different resonance forms that we could um, draw to understand this intermediate. All right, so one of them I've shown here, and we need to put in that uh, formal charge so that we'll put it on the oxygen. Um, but there's a, another resonance form that uh, helps us to understand the reactivity a little bit better, and that is if we uh, um, in, instead of having that uh, lone pair stabilization, if we just um, had the, the cation on the carbon. Okay, so these are two resonance forms, um, but reactivity wise, um, re reaction happens at the carbon. Uh, and if you think about electronegativity, um, the electron density is going to be more polarized towards the oxygen. So this is um, a more, uh, let's say, um, useful. Uh, resonance form because this is how the reaction occurs. Um, but this one maybe makes us feel a little, a little bit better because it has um, full octets for each atom. At any rate, this is the acylium ion. Okay, so we've got our reactive intermediate. And then all we need to do is to react our benzene with the acylium. So whichever resonance form you want to use, that's fine. I'll just use this one and the pi cloud is going to attack. Which will lead us to this intermediate. Okay, so there's our acyl group. And then, of course, all we have to do is to regain our aromaticity. And we'll just do it down here. And there we have it. And of course, the byproducts are going to be HCl again, and then also the regeneration of our catalyst, aluminum trichloride. Okay, so overall, there's a lot of similarities to the Friedel Crafts alkylation in that we are using the Lewis acid, aluminum trichloride, to abstract a chloride, which leaves behind a carbocation, which then reacts with the aromatic ring. The difference here is the, the nature of the carbocation that we're leaving behind. This acylium ion. Um, is an intermediate that um, is very reactive, but it's not prone to undergo 
any of those rearrangements that we saw with the alkyl carbocations. Okay, so that then makes the Friedel crafts relatively well behaved. So the Friedel crafts um, acylation is not prone to rearrangements. the cationic intermediates, all right, cationic intermediates, okay, um, and remember the other problem with the uh, Friedel-Crafts alkylation is that um, the product was more reactive than the starting material and so you had this problem with overalkylation. In the case of acylation, the acyl group is an electron withdrawing group um, and as we'll learn about in, in the next um, video, um, th that is actually a deactivating group. So the product in this case is less reactive than the starting material, and you will not see any um, over acylation, right? So not subject to over acylation. Okay, so that's what you want because if you want to add a single acyl group, um, you just want to add it. You don't want to have to worry about um, overdoing it. So you can you can add an excess of of the acid chloride if you need to push the reaction. Um, you can heat it up to force it to go, and and there's no worry of it uh, uh, acylating twice. Okay. Now <clears throat> there is um, a very useful thing that we can do with these products. Um, there are many uses, and they're useful in their own right. Um, but one thing that we can do is to use these acylation products, which are, which are very easy to get to, um, and actually access the Friedel Crafts alkylation products. Okay, so let me show you how that works. What we're going to do is to uh, first do our Friedel Crafts acylation to install our acyl group. And again, R can be almost anything we want. Um, that you can just imagine that, that just about anything that you might want uh, could be there, right? So we can install that as this acyl group. And then what we can do is actually reduce the, the carbonyl off, right? So we can just, we can just reduce it off. Um, and the one way, one way to do that is with uh, just hydrogenation conditions. Now that doesn't generally work for carbonyls, but it does work for um, these benzylic benzylic ketones, okay? Uh, th those can be reduced uh, under hydrogenation conditions. And if we do that, then what we're going to have is this type of product, which you can then see is the um, product that we uh, were trying to get to with the Friedel Crafts alkylation, right? But remember, this would require a primary carbocation, um, which doesn't work with the alkylation. We can do a two-step process with the acylation, acylate and reduce and get to that product in a much cleaner um, and more appropriate way. Okay, so that's one of the reasons that the Friedel Crafts uh, acylation is uh, such a good process. Um, as always, there are some limitations though, uh, and I just wanna point out uh, where you do have to be careful. So if we were trying to do a Friedel Crafts acylation, on our old friend aniline here. So remember we talked about aniline. This is a benzene ring with a, an amino group on it, so an NH2. Um, this actually isn't going to work because this is a, a reaction that we will talk about um, when we get into um, a later section in the, in the semester. Um, but what can happen here is that the um, aniline nitrogen can actually react with the acid chloride. So if we mix these two together, um, even without a catalyst, we'll actually acylate that nitrogen. Okay, so we will get to this product and then that, that uh, acid chloride is no longer available to uh, form the acylium. So instead of acylating the ring, um, you're actually just going to acylate the nitrogen. And the same thing would go for phenols. All right, so there's, there's phenol. Um, same thing, react with an acid chloride. Um, again, the, the oxygen of the, of the phenol can react with the acid chloride. And so instead of acylating the ring, 
you are instead going to form an ester, um, which is an, an, the acylated um, phenol. Okay, now uh, all is not lost, right? So that's what happens with the first equivalent. But if you were to throw in a second equivalent of the acid chloride, so second equivalent, um, then you these these two intermediates. I'll just bring this down for you again. These sorry, these two products um, are now uh, protected on those uh, heteratoms, and so those are no longer reactive. And now uh, the aromatic ring is available to go. So now you could actually access. For example, you could get to this Friedel Crafts acylation product. So, so the first one goes on the nitrogen, and now the second one is available to go on the aromatic ring. And by the same token, uh, with the, the phenolic compound, the first one goes to the oxygen, and then the second one goes to the aromatic ring. So, if we're going to do Friedel Crafts on these species, we one have to recognize that we're going to do a chemical transformation on the header atom um, and two we have to recognize that we have to explicitly um, add two equivalents of the acid chloride if we also want reaction on the aromatic ring all right so that's the friedel crafts acylation